Hey, happy Saturday and welcome to Minding Your Business on News Talk 1380, the Antelope Valley and North LA County source for your news now. I'm Chris Spiker from Antelope Valley Florist. My co-host Aaron Goldstein. Hello. Hey Aaron. Hey, where would we be without our engineer Kenneth Guzman? We would probably be stuck in a hole. We'd be out in a field somewhere just yelling. Kenny, thanks for your help today. You're welcome. <laughs> and the music from Lion's Name Leo, Bakersfield, California. T. Stevens. T. Stevens, our buddy. Hey, Aaron, who's our first guest today? Our first guest today is Manny Magani with Town and Country Garage Door Systems. Manny, welcome. Thank you, thank you. How are you today? Wonderful. How's the garage door world going? It's going pretty good. You know, we're pretty steady. That name has been around for a while. Yes, Town & Country uh, started in 1986. Wow. And how long have you been associated with them? I purchased the company in 2009. You've been doing this for a while. Oh, yeah. Hey, thank you for joining the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce. Uh, my pleasure. I should have probably joined ahead of time. Well, you know, uh, it's the right thing to do. And you told me why you joined. What was the reason? Uh, a couple of reasons. One is exposure, of course and uh, getting involved in the community, local community, um, within Lancaster and the AV. Uh, so that was my main reasons. A lot of ways to get involved. Uh, we appreciate you joining the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you. And uh, we have you on the show today as a direct result of you joining and then being listed as a new business in the Valley Press. That's correct. And thank you very much for accepting the offer. My pleasure, believe me. So what do you do over at Town & Country? What, what all uh, services do you, do you provide? Well, Town & Country provides uh, everything from the simple service call of your sensors being uh, uh, not working correctly or not aligned correctly to replacing uh, residential garage doors, garage door openers. We also do quite a lot of uh, commercial work, uh, you know, for uh, for car body shops, car shops that have rolling uh, rolling doors. Uh, so we do everything basically residential and commercial. All that electric stuff. All the programming of the openers. Oh yeah, we also Ooh. do that. Man. Well, the, the residentials aren't that much of a big deal. The, uh, the commercial ones are a little more uh, complicated. A lot more to it. Yes. Industrial grade. Correct. So do my garage door now has an opener, but do, you, do we still use springs? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the springs, if we're talking about the newer doors, which are the uh, sectional garage doors, right. most of them, if it's a seven foot door, you'll have four sections, and you'll have either one or two torsion springs right above your door. That's right, there are springs. And do those still break the way they used to in the old days? And uh, They still break. I mean, average spring probably lasts anywhere between uh, four to seven years. Oh, so now uh, the torsion spring is along the beam. Right, it's on, there's a torsion, there's a torsion tube right above your door, and the torsion springs are basically on the torsion tube. Hey, are you going to charge me for all the questions I'm asking? You get a discount. <laughs> <laughs> so it, pr people probably use you as, a, as an information source. Oh, of course. I mean, a lot of times people will call and uh, they're not sure even what's going on with your door. Um, so I try to evaluate it over the phone. I ask them if, you know, if you're home, go into your garage, I'll ask you a couple of questions. Um, and then, because they'll call me and they'll ask me, how much is going to cost me to fix my door? So what's the problem with the door? So sometimes they'll tell me, well, the door's not going up at all, or it's going up three inches. Then I ask them, go in the garage, look above your door, and look at your torsion springs. If the door usually does not go up at all or a few inches, that means one of your springs cracked and there will be in two pieces and it's pretty obvious once you look at it so when they go in the garage they tell me yeah the one spring looks in two pieces I said well that's your problem that's why your door will not go up and this is the exact cost wow and that I, think took I think people like that because they know what you know what they're going to be charged right yeah versus I feel helpless and you're just going to take advantage exactly. of it exactly yeah, and so you you mentioned that you'd be happy to give somebody a, a, a second estimate, or oh yeah, they they got a price from somebody. They just want to run it by a reliable person. Sure. 
to make sure that that number is uh, close. First of all, on, uh, on uh, new doors, we give free estimates. We'll come out to the house, we'll take measurements, um, we'll look at the garage, see what kind of door is good for you, what kind of garage door opener uh, will work for you. And um, even on repairs, unless, it's a, unless I know exactly what the repair is, like, like I explained to you, like with the spring, I mean, if it's something that I can't understand over the phone what the customer is telling me, then we'll even go out and uh, do a free estimate for the repair. So do people need to come to your, uh, do you have a showroom or a website? Oh, yeah. or? We have a website, mm -hmm. um, which is townandcountrygaragedoors.net. Uh, we have a showroom uh, and an office at uh, 211 East Avenue K6, unit number F is in Frank. And we are uh, right off a of division, one building past Federal Express. And you mentioned you're you're basically answering the phone 24/7. We are. Our office is open Monday through Friday. We do service calls six days a week, and I answer the phones 24/7. You mentioned you you can even send a tech out on Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Right. It costs a little more. Nope. Ah, very good. So what's an emergency? They have to get the door open so they can get the car out? Or? Well, I mean, an emergency if somebody calls me at, you know, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, and they must get us there that time, it's going to cost them a little more, and uh, we'll try to provide the service for them. I've noticed on mechanical things that whenever the weather changes, uh, things break down. Does that happen with garage doors, too? The first uh, hot day, the first cold day? No, uh, sometimes when it's real, real cold, um, Things will act up a bit, but it's not necessary. So that torsion spring that I have at, uh, at the flower shop, uh, I was told keep that spring lubricated? Right. We, we recommend like twice a year. Uh, there's a special spray that you can buy. Don't use WD-40. Um, it needs to be like a silicone base. And we, we provide that. We sell that. It's a special spray for torsion springs and, and the rollers. And that way... What happens if you use just regular silicone, just regular um, WD-40, uh, the du it attracts dust. Yeah. And then it makes it like real, um, like a muddy, so that's why we tell people not to use it. Yeah, mechanical things cannot have muddy no, not uh, lubrication. So special uh, spring grease, right. not impossible to find. You guys have it. What's your phone number over there? Our phone number is area code 661-949-0400. So in the description, when we turn when we turn this into a video, because we're shooting a video right now, we right. add your phone number in there, uh, or they can just call the Chamber of Commerce. Right. I bet you're the only garage door guy in the chamber. Uh, I think so. People don't always realize what a great marketing tool it is to be a member of the chamber. Right. So how did you get into this business? Uh, it's a long story. Um, I used to be in the uh, photo business had photo labs um, in Los Angeles. And as we all know, technology changes uh, changes very rapid. And after 20 some years, uh, there was no room for those uh, businesses anymore. Wow. Yeah, it really, uh, so I looked for basically, I looked for a business, a service oriented business uh -huh. where technology couldn't really put me out of business. Where basically my personal care for customers um, and things that basically people can't do on their own. They need a technician. They need a trained technician uh, to do things. And uh, that's my main reason I went into this business. And uh, how long have you been? You've been in the Antelope Valley since '09. Uh, yeah, since like yeah. What do you think of this place? It's interesting. It's uh, it's it's different. Um, I used to pass by many many years ago without really knowing uh, much about, you know, Lancaster or Palmdale or, you know, we service everything from Santa Clarita to Mojave, Edwards. Um, so it, it's, it's different. I mean, it's, it's a nice place. But you'll get in the car, in the, in the truck and go mm, 40, 50 miles in any direction. Oh, we'll go 200 miles, depending on the job, of course. We've done jobs in Laguna Beach, Ventura County, um, we do, we service the San Fernando Valley. Um, so we, you know, we have contractors that bill all over the place. Yeah. And uh, they'll call us and we'll go and uh, install doors. Nice to know people. Oh yeah, absolutely. 
we have a house in Glendale, uh, it doesn't have a garage, uh, but it had plumbing problems and I used my local guy here. Right, that happens a lot. Because I knew him. I go, well, here's a project for you. And it was a way to go. Yeah, we have a uh, one uh, specific contract that he builds, contractor, he builds everywhere. You Laguna Beach, he builds a lot in West LA, West Hollywood. And we just, what's nice about it is, I don't even give an estimate anymore. He knows what he wants, this is what I want, do the same prop, just like we did the other property, he says, that's all I want, just send me the bill. So it's, it's, it makes it easy. Nice to have a, a combination of that kind of work and then the everyday uh, oh, yeah. homeowners. Absolutely. Need a mixture. Yes. Uh, when we depend on one customer all the time, we're gonna be in trouble, huh? Yeah, we can't depend on one customer. You know, I had a little a short story. I, I used to be in retail and um, I had one of these vendors and he used to service all the little stores and he couldn't, do, he got an account with a huge store. Yeah. And he really let us go and I told him, I said, don't do that. This is your bread and butter. Yeah. And he lost a big account. And yeah. So you can't do that. No. They work with you, those big accounts. It's kind of scary sometimes. Yep. Work on you, work with you. Manny McGinney from Town & Country Garage Door Systems. Uh, if you need contact information, you can call the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce because he is a proud member of the Lancaster Chamber. Yes, I am. Ten seconds. Thank you, you know, thank you for having me here. And if anybody needs any help with garage doors, please call us. We'll try to help you out. Manny, thank you very much. Thanks for being part of the, uh, the chamber and the community. Thank you.